Hi guys and welcome to today's video which is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually going to go through all my reptile supplies which are in this massive uh, draw unit. Um, but first I'm going to start up here at all the electricity because when you're going to have reptiles you're going to have to be near some electricity or at least have an extension lead because just for my Cresta Gecko for example we have the Jungle Dawn plugged in but we also have a thermostat that's also plugged into a ceramic heater. Uh, with the Leopard Gecko we have the UVB light plugged in on a timer and her heat mat. Um, she does have a thermostat, you may remember I had microclimate B2MEs, I still have them but I have had nothing but issues with them, they all seem to fail so in future I think I might just stick to Haberstat because they seem to do a lot better um, so right now Gizmo's heat mat is just plugged in because the thermostat is kind of useless anyway let's start off with the first drawer which is the Leopard Gecko's drawer so in this drawer we have, let's look at the first thing, so we have a notebook and a pen, it's the Arcadia pen. I always have a notebook because I always write down when my geckos eat. I actually probably have nearly 11 years of paperwork that tells me every time Gizmo is eaten. That's insane. I'm not a hoarder, but basically I get in a habit of obviously writing it down and then just putting the paper in a wallet and over the years it's just sort of built up. But now I actually do it in a notebook which is easier. I also have at the front when the bulbs need changing, so gizmos will need changing in May. Um, but yeah, it's just basically any gecko information goes in here. Then we have this, which is a microclimate thing. It comes with the thermostats, so we'll probably see a few of these in these drawers because I'm sure they're in like probably every drawer. Uh, once again, thermostat thing doesn't really work, but this is meant to change the dials. I use it, but you know, it makes no difference. Then we have a few things I don't necessarily use anymore. So I have like the calcium, which is a Komodo calcium. It's still in date, so I just as well use it up, like calcium is calcium. And uh, multivitamin. Um, instead of just throwing away these tubs, you can actually use them. So like you could use this as a feeding bowl, or uh, if you have wax worms, you just put a bit of powder in there to shake it around. And I know like things like chameleons and that, um, feed out of like cups sometimes so that could come in handy for that so don't you don't always have to throw it away it can be used for other things now the supplements I mainly use now um, always go in this bag or at least the Earth Pro A does so this is how I dust the food obviously put it in just dust it so we have the Earth Pro A you can tell this is a supplement straw because it's very dirty Earth Pro A, Earth Pro CA I feel like I have one of these open somewhere because this one hasn't been open and also uh, calcium with magnesium so that's a new one from Arcadia and I was actually trying it with Isla when she was carrying those eggs and we didn't know whether they needed some extra magnesium or anything so I was trying it out I don't really know what's happened <laughs> with that situation I know the water I use now has a lot more magnesium and calcium in but um, yeah I've been using this a lot more in my leopard gecko tanks and then the last thing we have is a Rapashi Grub Pie which I did a review on and previously they liked it and lately the geckos have not been eating so I tried this with them the other day and they didn't want it so uh, it doesn't work every time and definitely don't use this as their main diet but it can sometimes come in handy in desperate situations anyway let's get out the Krusta gecko drawer so in this drawer there's a lot more food related things rather than supplements obviously if I'm using live food I'll use the supplements from the leopard geckos box but in this one, yeah, it's all about the food and how stubborn crested geckos can be with food. So we have Pangea, which is banana and apricot. This one Isla is on, although she hasn't really had much of an appetite lately. You may be able to tell that I'm not very good with putting these sorts of things back together. Like, they just never really connect. So I brought a load of these to hold them down. So that one's Isla's. This one is pretty wrecked and this one's watermelon and mango and Lyra goes crazy for it and I probably have to buy some more. Most of the time you'll find these ones which is 8 ounces are usually about £18 but they do last a long time. Then we have Rapashi. So 
Isla was originally on this and then I decided to try Pangea and I have found that she prefers Pangea a lot more but that means I have loads left and this once again was not cheap. Um, this is where we have these little Recti gold things. I did a review on them. My geckos kind of go crazy for these. These ones have actually gone hard again. So you'll find when you first get them they're powdery but they're very sensitive to like I think the air and they sort of go hard but they, you can still use them they're totally fine then we have another rapashi thing in here and actually this has nothing more in than a spoon so people ask me how much food i use and usually it's two two of these spoonfuls which is a quarter of a teaspoon so half a teaspoon of food i usually give my geckos sometimes three quarters of a teaspoon if they're lucky <laughs> um i actually don't know why i have this in here but i'm sure that comes in handy if you want to measure a gecko once again, <laughs> we have a Pringle lid in here. Um, if you have Pringles, just think, this is a great little feeding tray. If uh, you didn't want your gecko, for example, to eat straight off of EcoF or whatever it's on, or maybe reptile carpet, maybe it's catching its teeth, just get a Pringle lid. See, I'm very resourceful. <laughs> and the last thing we have in here is the Exoterra terrarium glass cleaner. So a lot of people ask me what I do with natural terrariums, how often I clean them. I pretty much just give the walls a really good clean down and this tends to be the thing that works for me and it's actually really full and I've used quite a bit of it. So like it lasts quite a long time. So those are the Crested Gecko supplies. So the last two drawers are kind of like miscellaneous, they just kind of have odd supplies in. And I'm going to try to be brief with them because I know like the other two sections are a lot longer. So the first thing is literally a big wallet full of weights and when I fed my geckos. So yeah, some of this paper is older than some of my viewers. Nothing wrong with that, but it makes me feel old. <laughs> then we have a clamp lamp manual. That might be the one I got for Christmas actually to put on Isla's tank and this must be the thing to, if I wanted to hang it from, that's what you use. Then we have some clips, so I had a vanilla orchid plant in my natural tank and instead of buying orchid clips because they're like unnecessarily expensive, I went to Boots and buy, bought some reduced butterfly clips and they sort of did the job. Then I have a bat some batteries, I think these are for my scales actually. Uh, what I weigh my geckos on. Then we have butterfly food, if any of you remember Harry the Hawk Moth. I didn't think I was going to be able to like release him, so I thought I'll buy him some food, but then I ended up thinking it's best for him to release him. And then the food came after I had released him, so I think I'm just going to feed butterflies outside, just have a little bit of nectar. Then we have shed support. Okay, I have had this for a while and I need to use it. They come in capsules like the Repti Gold. But you have to feed them for five days over um, the shedding cycle and I don't like feed my geckos continuously. So I don't know if I'm just gonna have to try to feed Diego over spring and summer when he's like shedding, try to use these so I can do a review on them. Cause I really wanna try them out cause it might help. Um, it's all completely natural, so we'll see. I, I feel like the girls aren't gonna eat over spring and summer so Diego is like my only option. Then we have loads of odd stuff like loads of extra feeding dishes. So once again, uh, water lids and these are jar lids. So we have Sharwoods, I think that's a gel frozy curry and Dolmio, so that might be spaghetti bolognese if you are interested. Um, give them a good wash out and they can just be little feeding dishes. Especially helpful when you have mealworms because those things just try to get underneath EcoF. Some more feeding dishes and test tube lids. I feel like the other drawer is going to have loads of test tubes in. Uh, a spare vent, sellotape, another one of these clips, they always come in handy, some uh, fishing wire because for the natural terrarium when you want to attach plants this comes in handy and this will also help in my aquarium. Then we have these wire things so you know whenever you buy anything new they always have these attached save them because they come in handy especially in natural terrariums if you want to attach a coconut hide that will come in handy maybe some plants you can just use and they're pretty strong so they come in handy and then these they all have little initials on and they are poop scoops yes so when um obviously you have to clean out the geckos i just use disposable uh 
spoons because you can just throw them away or you can just disinfect them and the good thing about having eco earth is when you scoop it you mainly scoop more like eco earth than the poop so it's not too disgusting on the spoon but yes they each have their individual one and the last drawer is basically all the supplies that are just little spares and everything I have more of the bigger equipment so as you can see I have a spare heat mat literally always just have one spare because you never know when one's gonna go although I have to say Hapistat tend to last a lot longer and this one is a Hapistat one a lot of people ask me which one I'd recommend pretty sure Hapistat's the one so I have that more sellotape I think I just bought a load of sellotape it's just left it in there. I don't know why. Then we have another one of those microclimate things that I said another one would turn up. All of these leads are all spares from the Arcadia UVB kit. I kind of wish, and this goes for a whole range of reptile equipment. Sometimes I wish the leads were longer because there are so many places where the leads would just about come out of the vivarium and just won't reach the plug so I have to get an extension cable which is really annoying um, so I have tons of these left over I think these are also spares from the UVB kit because you've got little screws if you want to mount them in a different way then we have F10 I don't know how old this disinfectant is it's dusty though uh, this is the veterinary standard and it lasts for ages because you just have to like dilute it with water uh, so obviously this has really lasted me ages. Some more of those little cable ties, I think that's what they're called. What is it? Oh, you know I said there's going to be test tubes. Got a whole load of test tubes. I remember when I was collecting my female queen ant. Obviously I don't know why I said female. <laughs> my queen ant. I wanted a test tube, but I had to buy it, buy it in bulk. I couldn't just buy one. It like worked out better on postage. So that's why I have so many test tubes. And so many pens. Seriously, I think I just bulk bought like sellotape and pens and test tubes and just put them in here. Some more spares. I think the screws have come out though. Syringes, because you know, who doesn't need that? What were these actually for? I bought them for something. There was like 10 of them. Uh, oh, do you remember when I made the slurry? The uh, Golden Gate Gecko slurry. I think that's why I need a syringe, I think. Then we have these old timers. I actually prefer the digital ones now because these always make this horrible like, literally that sound all the time. So um, I don't really like to use them, but the, you just as well keep them rather than throw them away. Some more spares, you always get, sp these are spares from the vivarium. You never know when you're gonna need them. Another old timer, once again, it just makes that really annoying sound. And a lock for the vivarium. Okay, something about this lock. This lock is, well, it'll be 11 this year, but I bought it second hand with Gizmo's original vivarium. So this lock is very, very old. Um, I used to put it on if my sister had a party and I didn't trust her friends with my gecko. So um, I would just lock up the tank, but I never use it now because I don't really need it, but. It's always good to have a spare. I don't really like throwing stuff away, can you tell? So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a bit different, and it might give you an idea of certain stuff you've uh, already have, you might need. You don't need all of this stuff, but this is just sort of where I store all my reptile stuff. As you can see, it can take up a lot of room, but uh, that might be because I might be a hoarder. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's certainly given me an opportunity to tidy these drawers up. So thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye.